Hey guys, so Keto Diamond here, or Joni today, because this is not exactly a Keto video. This is a Dollar Tree haul video, because some people like to really watch these. I got some pretty cool, interesting things while I was up there. Not exactly what I went for and what I was looking for, but I did. So we're gonna we're gonna hop right into it. For one, <clears throat> I went up there because I needed light bulbs, and I want to get Athena some little pretty things, some sweet things, some things she can play with and have fun with. They don't really make many toys for little girls. And a lot of times, if you go and buy a 10 20 $30 toy, you're going to waste your money because they're not interested. Now, I've got a toy box here full of stuff that she'll play with. She likes dinosaurs. She likes trucks and balls and stuff, too. Um, and I, it, I bought it for all the grandbabies to play with. But it's very hard to find things that are just specific for a little girl that they're really going to enjoy. <coughs> so, while I was at work this weekend, I was twirling something between my hand. It was like a half of a broomstick and it was kind of twirling all over the place. I was like, you know, I haven't seen a baton in a while. Last time I did, it was at uh, Dollar Tree. So I think I can, I can get uh, Athena a baton. I might even get Zach one. It'd be kind of a fun skill to learn. I'm not getting Anthony one because I don't want to get beat to death um, with a baton and that will happen. But anyway, <laughs> um, and again, I have tons of stuff here that Anthony loves. He steals toys like crazy and his mom and dad's always bringing them back and he'll take them again and I don't mind. But there's a lot of stuff here he really likes. Very little here. She likes it, but it's not, like, specific for her. Um, so I wanted to get her some pretties. I did get her some pretties. Did not find a baton. Looked it up on Amazon. They're, like, $20-some dollars now. Um, no. Uh, I'll just give her a broomstick she can beat me with. But hopefully I can find her one at a Dollar Tree someday. But I want to show you, and I did get her a pretty little shiny bag. Just some pretty stuff because it's hard to find stuff specifically for her other than clothing and that gets boring <coughs> <coughs> sorry you guys tree pollen is high right now and i'm allergic to everything so anyway let's check out the things i got in her pretty little bag i got her a little tea set i think she's old enough for this her mom might beat me because this might be messy but i also bought some little cakes which I wish I hadn't because now I think I like them and I shouldn't be eating them. They're keto. They're kind of, they're Quest cake things, little little round cookie cakes. Um, but I thought they would be cute on her little plates. She's got a little fork there, uh, well, spoons there. Maybe we can put a little bit of ice cream on there or something for her. But, you know, a little tea set. It's just, it's cute. Just, just for fun. A little something for her to do. I also got a very cheap, cheapo thing. But she's probably going to put it in the bathtub and she's probably going to get the hair all messed up anyway. So it doesn't really matter that it's cheaper. No, she's probably going to break it anyway. But she's got a mermaid with a comb. They had a lot of different colors up there too, which are really, really cute to be honest with you. They are, you know, cheaply Dollar Tree made. By the way, everything at Dollar Tree is $1.25 now. And then they got a special section with more expensive stuff. It's been way too much at Dollar Tree. I did not mean to do that. But anyway. Since she's got all that long, beautiful hair, I got her a hair bow. Her mom's always pinning her down and, uh, to pull it back. And I'm like, let's see if she'll wear one of these. We don't know that she'll wear one of these. She may not ever wear one of these. But I liked it. I like the color. It's kind of close to her eyes. It's very pretty. So we'll see. She may, she may not. And these I got while looking for the baton. So, of course, got some little cheapo pom-poms. But I think she'll have a ball with those. I was also looking for one of those ribbons on a stick. You know, you can do this number with. It's really, really pretty. I thought she really liked that. Didn't see one, though. But, anyway, she's got some little pom-poms. And I also found her her own little brush. So, she could use a little brush if she wanted to. That's really adorable. It, it also has this little clip thing. So, And they had plenty of colors. Pink, uh, purple. But anyway, the little clip. So if you want one, you can get one on your pocketbook. But that's all so far I've found for her to have. But I do, like I said, I got some pretties for her. Because I don't really get her much. I can't really find her much uh, that I really like and think she'll really like. So I thought, let's just get her some things. Now, I got me some things. A lot of things, accidentally. I got this. Now, you know it's just a, a thing for your hair. But um, I have a lot of pants and clothing that kind of match this. I, I love tie-dye, bright pastel colors. I think they're really, really pretty. So, oh, yeah. uh, but, <laughs> SpongeBob. Anyway, uh, I've got a lot of clothes that'll match, so I thought I would, could wear it on my wrist at work. We're coming to the time of year where I don't have 
to pin my hair up really tight because the big fans won't be smacking me in the face with my hair. And as long as your hair is a certain length, you don't have to pin it up. So, it still might get a little hot. Figure out where that on my wrist and put my hair up if I need to. Yay, right? So, <laughs> mm. I got something I get from Dollar Tree every single year. I've been getting them for many years. I don't even know how many years, but I've got boxes from when we lived in Greensboro many, many years ago with these in them. It's a calendar book. It's, it's nothing special about it. Um, they come in different shades and colors. And it's really just a cheapo calendar book. It's nothing extremely special, you know. Um, but it is a month-by-month -month planner. And I use this nowadays, now, because I also have a, a happy planner journal that I love. But I use this to write down my weigh-ins every day. I have it I've gotten out of over the last month. I was still doing that up to about a month ago, and I quit, so I'm going to start doing it again. I still got my the one for this year, in fact, right here on my desk. Uh, <laughs> so, it might seem silly to buy these in August, because it's a little ways away, but sometimes as you get closer to the end of the year, they're a little harder to find. Um, sometimes they will still have them, but generally they get a little harder to find, so as soon as I see them, I snatch them up. Um, they, I love them. <laughs> They've got, of course, you know, your personal information stuff the whole year calendar in there I'm going to show you a little more detail let's get to the other year calendar oh. but I mean it's got you know a, a nice little section here they come in you know a range of colors from professional blacks and browns and deep reds to pastels and pretty colors so I really really like them I need I should have gotten two because my mother is always going to send me up there to get her one should have gotten two Oh, well, it gives me a reason to go back to Dollar Tree. <laughs> I don't go that much. Ugh, see another bag here. See another bag here. Oh, okay. Again, I've got a ton of stuff for Anthony to play with. I will be giving a theme of that little bag at her house, most likely. Or, most likely, Zach will be around. So, I didn't want him to think I forgot about him. I got him a little plane he can throw around outside. And it, it's foam, I think. Yeah, it's foam. Can't read it. But it's like a plane you put together and you throw. It's going to fall all apart. You put it back together and you throw it. It's Dollar Tree. Dollar 25, you know how this works. But anyway, I thought he would enjoy that. And if he did throw it, throw it in his room, he's probably not going to hurt anything with it. So that would be fine. And I got him a little um, foam bullet gun, foam dart blaster. <laughs> there you go. Um, that he could have foam with and knock stuff over in his room and outside. Just line him up some aluminum cans and knock them over. Um, but I thought he'd have fun with that. Crap. <laughs> I is a dropsy lady today. Do you guys enjoy Dollar Tree hauls? Now, sometimes, I don't know why I'll watch them, like, religiously. Accidentally. I don't really go to Dollar Tree that much. Um, usually, they'll have something I love. One of the things I really love getting up there, I will always go there to get, which happens to be the bag I just picked up. LED light bulbs. Regular light bulbs for the house. They are very cheap to run and use all year. Last up to 22.8 years. Hmm. I don't know about that, but <laughs> let's see. Um, based on the average use of three hours a day, I must use that light over there way too much because I just blew two of them. That's why I had to go. This I actually have two of these, but one's already in the hole over my washer and dryer. But this really it estimated energy cost a dollar forty-five per year to leave this on. You know, so that's one reason I like them. I like the LED bulbs. I think they're fantastic. Not really big on shopping at Dollar Tree again, but I do like these bulbs, so. I'd love to tell you where it's made at, but I don't see it, and we know probably where it is made at. Prefer Made in America, but sometimes it is my favorite light bulbs. I got a couple things to go in my bag at work because I, I needed them. Let's, let's be honest. I've been meaning to grab some nail clippers and a file from my desk to put in my work bag that I carry around with me because I chip a nail or crack a nail or something all the time up there and that damn thing aggravates me all day and I'm sitting there chewing on it and gnawing on it trying to get it like even not to catch on things before I know it that little tiny chip is is I've just have no nail there because I've just peeled it all off um so I got some fingernail toenail clippers they're really really small though I guess that's still a toenail clipper it is kind of wide 
but you know I think these would be perfect to go in my little bag at least one of them and I got some files that way if it's just a little chip I can just file it down I throw a couple cheap ones in my bag and have some for later I got some um, eyeshadow now I've used this eyeshadow a lot in the past um, it's one of my favorites actually and it's weird it's silly because um, it's just a loose eyeshadow but every time I wear this color pink on my eyes people love it and I haven't had any in a while and I saw it today so I decided to get it it is just a shimmery pink loose eyeshadow it does come with an applicator it is nice actually I kind of I really like it intense shimmer loose eyeshadow LA colors BAM Hmm. One of these days I'll use it. <laughs> Maybe. Let's reach for another bag. Uh -huh. Alright, these are for the grandbabies. Oh, well, there's one thing for me in here that is kid friendly. Kind of, sort of. Not really worth $1.25, but I'll show you. I got these. Cheddar Wisps. It's a small pack made for Dollar Tree. Probably 10 wisps in there. I know that because I ate a pack. They had the Tangy Ranch. They had a couple different kinds up there. But... I bought these two. They also had Parmesan. Um, they're good. $1.25, not too bad. 110 calorie packs. Uh, keto friendly. So that's the great part. But you know, these next things are not keto friendly. But they're for my grandbabies. Just to have some snacks in the house while they're here. Because Anthony always wants food. Like, always. And then Athena, when she does come over, she wants food. Zach usually stays a night or two, so he definitely wants food while he's here. Um, so I just wanted to have a couple little things that's easy to grab and go. I'd prefer it to be keto, but it's more that's more something you have to cook. Unless you can get them to eat the cheese with some stuff, which my grandbabies are like, nah, bro, I'm good. So, <laughs> I got a couple things. Actually, four things. There's another bag here. Um, I guess these are munch rights. I guess that's what that word's supposed to be, munch rights. Apple cinnamon baked puffs. Kind of like, um, like churros, is that what it is? And kind of like uh, cinnamon twists kind of deals. But they're apple cinnamon uh, baked puffs. I have bought these before. The kids did like them. So stocking some in the house. I will probably actually go ahead and split it up in little baggies. That way I can just reach in and grab a baggie for them. And then I got, of course, the staple of all parents and all grandparents, especially all grandparents. Parents probably don't want them to have these. They get a little orange. My son ate cheese puffs so much, his nose was orange for the longest time. Um, but got in some cheese doodles, baked puffs, cheddar flavor. <laughs> of course. Is there any other flavor? I don't think so. All right. <sighs> By the way, this Dollar Tree did have Monster Energy drinks, which is kind of surprising because my husband drinks them a lot. I know that they're $3 a can at least. These were slightly smaller, not much, not enough to really notice. Slightly smaller, but they had the, the green zero sugar ones. I don't know what that is. I don't know what flavor that is. Probably like sour apple. I think that's what he told me it was. But they did have them. They had quite a few of them up there. Doubt they're going to keep them, but they had them. I, I probably should not eat this, and I'm hoping it's keto friendly. Because I got some pork skins from Walmart to go with them. Paste nacho cheese. So I can't have nachos and cheese. I can have nacho cheese on pork skins. Okay, we're gonna do that. And I got some salsa too, but not from Dollar Tree. But yeah, they had this. Then I grabbed a jar, to, a can, to see if I'm gonna like it. Got the great full top thing. All right, y'all. These again, some grandbaby things to keep in the house. All right, so this has eight individually wrapped brownies. Not bad for $1.25. You know, at Walmart you're gonna pay, what, three, six dollars for these. Got a whole bunch of cookies whole bunch of little packs of cookies so I mean it's got uh, strawberry lemon I think it's lemon strawberry cream vanilla cream vanilla cream with chocolate cookies banana cream with chocolate cookies and orange cream so I mean it's got what one two three four five ten packs of cookies in there for a buck 25 I'm all in <laughs> it helps me out a little bit just to have some grab-and-go stuff for the grandbabies oh that bag is empty one more. Da, 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 da. Oh, okay. So, I actually also went looking for... I saw somebody else's uh, Dollar Tree What You Should Buy video at Dollar Tree. And I thought, I need to go up there and look in that section. Because they have a dollar plus section. Which most stuff has been there, been at that spot, 3 to $5. Dollars. 
and he pointed out a couple things like that would be probably good a good deal anyway so let's get that but I was actually after their five dollar flip flops because I have one pair of flip flops I meant I always mean to buy a pair before summer ends that way I have some to scoff around the house in or wear when it's not real real cold outside um, but I missed it all the flip flops that I like are gone <laughs> but anyway while I was in that section I got this this matches my toilet paper roll holder um, and it's just got these little diamond things on the ends. Hangs on the bathroom door. I need this. Because, see, I have a towel holder in there in the new bathroom. And, uh, a lot of times I hang my bra on it. And I forget it's there. Then I hang a towel over it. Then I take the towel off of it. And then it falls to the floor. And then I'm irritated because my bra is now dirty and gross. And probably wet. So, I got this. To hold my bras. On the back of the bathroom door. And whatever else I want to put back there. But, yeah, I mean, it's nice. Hopefully it'll stay. It's $5. But I like it. I really do like that. So, if it's worth, if you buy it, you must have thought it was worth the money. Even though it's irritating to buy something for $5. Dollar Tree. <sighs> the next is this. The Zip Cleaner. Um, foaming shower tub and tile cleaner. And my bathroom is made of tub and tile and toilet. <laughs> so, I thought that'd be great. I heard that these are about $0.70 cent higher at Lowe's. So I figured, you know, if I can get $3 for it at uh, Dollar Tree and save $0.70, cent, that's actually not bad. So that was my whole haul. But this is what I spent the most on. It still came out to $37 because I forgot that quarter's going to add up for every other item. Do you know when you when you go to Dollar Tree, you go, okay, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten things. So this should tell us me about ten fifty at most. No, because for every four things, now it's an extra dollar. <laughs> so yeah, it costs a lot of money and I wasn't happy about it, but there you have it anyway this has been my Dollar Tree haul again I don't do any of these but I thought I would have fun with it what's something you've got at Dollar Tree recently that you really really like or are you happy to get or did you notice that you spent way too much on um, so tell me about your recent Dollar Tree experiences or if you think there's anything up there really really cool that I would really love you know something like like this thingy above here <laughs> much love many prayers see you on the next one